There's a lot of shitty companies out there. <laughs> if you're one of those shitty companies. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Next Level Rides. Today, we're going to be installing Raptor lights with my buddy Jason. Yo. So it sounds like this one's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, just lights on the front, quick hook up to the fuse box. Easy. Let's get going. Okay, so we're gonna take the top cover off. Hell the hell, are these all just, what? They're just pop things. What? This is like the easiest thing to take off. Oh, I, I popped them out already. Did you? Mm-hmm. When? Earlier, I just pushed them out. You just push and then you pop it. So I pushed every single one. What the hell? Damn Toyota. Well, you know, if this is the easy part, I'm not really scared of the hard part. So these are just clipped in then? Yeah. So you can technically modify it. Some people take it under other, like, you can take it under Highlander. Yeah. They just take that clip. Yeah. I was just gonna take this off and then get the new one and then plug, plug it, in. it in. But then these connectors are all different. Yeah. How stupid. Wow, each one has a connector. Oh, yeah. let's cut the zip ties. Okay, so Jason has these. So are these also called Raptor lights up? Mm. They're just- so We're basically changing it out just because one of them is burnt out. Oh. And you can't you can't just uh, order one. Of course you can't just order one. It's a whole Of course, thing. they're not gonna make money. So the kit, like, is it brighter, the new one? Um, We'll see, I guess. I don't know okay. if they're brighter, actually. I have no so, idea. I mean, you have three good working lights? Yeah, right now, which is, it's not even centered at all. Because it has that lip on the top, the, yeah. the little pointy, so to center them out. Yeah. Yeah. So, it probably won't show up on camera, but it has these, like, two tabs that are super wedged in there. So, you push one. There we go. All right. Did you already take the bad one out? Yeah. Okay. I was scared that, because uh, it has moisture inside. Oh, so it's toast. That should be a warranty thing. I, I tried. Guess. When I when the, I saw the moisture, I it's on Amazon. <laughs> and yeah, I, and say I, no more. Yeah, and I said, hey, there's moisture on your product. They're like, oh, we will uh, refund you uh, partial, because it's still working. I said, okay. So by the time I stopped working, I was like, hey, it stopped working now, they wouldn't reply. There's a lot of companies out there. <laughs> if you're one of those companies, <laughs> I hate that. I hate that nowadays, all you deal with is companies. Just to try and get your money. Did you pull the grommet out? Nope. I should. Like, actually, should we just maybe cut the wire? No, I just want to pull it all out. So there's no hanging, dangly that. No, 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 you cut it, you pull that side from that side and this one and this one, so you don't even touch a grommet. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, we can do that. Just cut it right here, straight here. Yeah, and that's I'll what I was thinking. Out. And then just pull it out. There. Just pull, pull it. it. Yep, there you yep. go. Easy. Bye. So for the Raptor lights, you'll end up seeing these two little tabs. One sits further back. So the one that sits further back will actually be up. So, so tab here, tab there. Kind of line them up. Can you give it a little. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that noise. Scary. Okay, two installed. We'll finish. We'll finish the rest. I guess really, if you didn't like it, you could always change it. You know what that means. You can technically put eight if you wanted. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of light. <laughs> I would do that. But you know what our next project will be? What's the next project? That one requires the whole bumper to come off. Oh, f <laughs> Here we go. Okay, yeah. where's the harness? All right, where's my good friend dielectric? Oh, yeah. I put it on everything. 
So maybe you mentioned how people always put the wiring on top of the hood latch. Don't do that. Actually, don't. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, people are that stupid? Yeah, some people put it. Okay, so it should go without saying, don't put the wire over the fucking hood latch. <laughs> people actually do that? All right, we're going to do it properly. We're going to put it underneath and we're even going to zip tie it so it looks nice and clean. All right, let's make this look good. This isn't going to be anything crazy, but it'll kind of zip tie it out of the way. Yeah, see? Like, why couldn't people just take the time to zip ties and make it look good? There's a little flap jacket over here. I'm basically just gonna follow the AC. I think that'd be best. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, you know what? It'll come right through here. Well, that's probably the nicest, and then we'll hide it around the battery. Yeah, there you go. Sick. The only way we can reroute this this way. I need no, more. No, because this is going to see how the box is. Yeah. We can rerun it like around here. Uh, yeah. So no, we got to tap it to INJ. What the f is INJ? Ignition? INJ? Yeah. We got to find this. Probably like igni ignition junction or something. So where's the other harness? There should just be, we this just one. tap into one fuse. Yeah. Where was the other thing you were holding? Uh, this one. There's two of them. I don't know what's the other one. The other one's 15. The other one's 10. Okay, so we got these fuse taps. So we'll do 10. We'll just throw the 15 on the side. Okay, so change of plan. For the fuse box here, this actually won't fit. So once we put it into the fuse tap, it actually won't let the box close. And uh, additionally, there's no hole around the side to actually feed the wiring. So without it pinching, rubbing, and causing an issue, we're going to shy away from that. There's another fuse box on the inside that originally had these connected. So what the plan is for the negative here, we're just going to put it to chassis ground, bundle this up, tuck it in behind the battery. And I'm just going to make a little cut here and we're going to extend the wire into the cabin. Put it back to the other fuse. Okay, easy. Easy peasy. We're going to poke the wire through the firewall into the cabin and connect the ground just to the ground for the fuse box right here with the 10 mil bolt. We're going to solder the connection just to ensure that it doesn't come apart and we're going to put some heat shrink tubing on it. So you can see we tapped it on the second fuse in. So rather than having it connected in the engine bay, we just tapped it there. It was much easier, much cleaner. Didn't have to deal with the Stupid fuse box outside. That looks pretty sweet. Okay, another super simple install. Um, how much was it? 50 bucks. Okay, Amazon. So if you were to get it, it's 50 bucks on Amazon. Uh, maybe don't get it from that retailer. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like they're not the easiest of people to deal with. Um, but pretty easy. You can see you just click the four lights in, dielectric grease, four connections, and then positive and negative. Um, the positive just, I guess really at the end of the day, you could connect it to any switch 12 volt for them to come on when the ignition's on. So in this case, we routed it into the cabin. It was pretty easy. There was a grommet there. We just fed the wire through, soldered it. Um, you could connect it to the fuse box, but we didn't want to do that. There's no point in cutting the fuse box open, potentially getting water in there and that would just cause havoc. Anyways, that's all for today. Feel free to like and subscribe. Route!